Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is me Krishi and in today's video, I will be sharing the next project from C++. So let's see what it is. So this project is based on palindrome numbers and what they are. They are like 626. Like even if you reverse the number, it remains the same. So yeah. Now for any number to be a palindrome number, it should be odd number. Like the digits should be odd because if the digits are four, then even if you reverse it, there are very less chances of it being a non-palindrome. I mean being a palindrome. So yeah, let us start. So this function uses if and else statements, but that part is already done for us. What we have to do is make a code which makes it clear that what is a palindrome number and what is not. So yeah, let us start. And uh, we're going to take the actual number as ren and the reverse number to be rev. So let us start. Now int n because then what we what we are taking the input is n int n comma reverse is equal to zero because for now there is no reverse number comma rem now let's go down now n will be equal to x we're doing this because further in the next values we are going to use x so let's do this and continue now we're going to give a space right here and from here, we're going to start with a while loop. So while n is more than zero. I'm sorry, more than zero. We're doing this so that because if you reverse zero, it's a first zero and this is known by everyone. So there's no point of doing this. So let us start and continue. So while n is zero not a semicolon or uh, curly braces now rem which is the actual number will be equal to n modulo 10. end this line and go further now reverse what will be reverse reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus rem which is our actual number the last line for the while loop n will be divided or equal to 10. now let us end this and start up from here now return reverse which will be equal to equal to x and here we end this curly brace of the palindrome numbers so yeah now let's run the code and check what the output is is we forgot a semicolon right here but it's okay now let's check the test cases 8888 is the palindrome and yeah we can say it is and the rest case two. one two three four five of course it's not a palindrome because the reverse of one two three four five will be five four three two one which is not the same so yeah guys that's all for today's video if you like the video just like share subscribe and share the video as far as you can and press the notification bell for further updates yeah meet you later